Hey everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Creative Minecraft showcasing the build progress of the Azure Palace. Uh, if you missed episode 1, uh, I'm doing this on a creative server uh, run by another YouTuber named uh, System Z. Information for the server and the YouTuber are in the description. Um, <clears throat> I figured out shaders. This is uh, definitely not uh, something that we can record in, like play in. It's pretty framey, pretty choppy. Uh, right now I'm using shaders, Seuss Ultra Depth of Field. Um, I want to also look at it in this, Chocopic. Hold on a minute while I let it render in. Alright, it's still rendering in, but uh, you get the picture. And I also wanted to show it before the back wall. I do have the wall finished behind there, and once it renders in, then you won't be able to see the window as well, I don't think. Uh, let's try. It looks really cool. This is sunrise. Let's try sunset. Um, there's like a specific time that looks really cool. Alright, uh, I think this is it. I thought that there was a time during the sunset where it looked really bright, like really lit up. Cave sounds. <laughs> um, but uh, maybe that was... I don't know, maybe this is it. Um, but yeah, just a... yeah, we can't really record in this. Let's switch back. I wonder what we get with light. Oh, there we go. That was more or less what I was looking for. Really bright like that. <clears throat> now this light version doesn't have shadows. Like there's no, like there's kind of shadows. I mean, not the dynamic shadows or whatever. Let's check. Just really kind of wanted to show you guys uh, what this is looking like right now. Yeah, it's funny that the extreme one uh, doesn't show it this bright. All right, got that rendered in. And so you can see the shadows, that's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I could play like this when I'm not recording, but it doesn't look like it's really an option for recording. So let's just shut those off and get to work. Um, actually, I just noticed that the, uh, quality here is on times two. If we turn these down, oh wow, look at that. Uh, the shadows are kind of, eh. Oh wow, the rendering is really rough. <laughs> Last time we worked on this clock right here, and I think that this window had been completed. I don't think that this had been completed. Uh, the guy that I'm doing this with, this is a collaboration with Bacon Time. Nobody else is on right now. He did this window, uh, and then I added this part. So what we're kind of planning here is up here, uh, we didn't have that many windows, like for an example, and we have big windows, but like, like this, like back here, there's going to be, is there a way back there? Yeah, back here, there would be like a walkway right here, and you could look out these. I want more windows like that. Ooh, that, those shadows really do r look rough. <laughs> um, looks like they're worse the further away that you get. Yeah, they do kind of smooth up when you get closer to them. Unfortunately, I don't think that all these mods are out for the snapshots yet. Um, but anyway, so I incorporated these on this tower. So now we have room. See how big this is? Just this tower. Like this is all we're doing this entire interior, by the way. Uh, maybe not just us. We might get a team to help us. But see, we got room for offices 
and rooms, like a lot of offices and rooms right here. Up here, who knows what we'll have. I lit it up just because it was really dark. <laughs> um, that's weird. Like a little concave. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys. By the way, if you see emeralds around, that's like notes that we leave to each other. Like right here is a note for big skylights. Because the plan for right here behind these big windows is a ballroom. All right, so I turned off the shader so that we could do this in higher FPS. I'm getting about, yeah, 60. Um, maybe when I look around, drops below. No, looks like we're sticking at 60. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to get in 60. It depends on what I render it in, I guess. Um, typically, I render overnight, so I guess there's no reason why I shouldn't. Oh, hello. Again, some server lag. I am... My ping's not the best, but I was just looking at this right here. Because a lot of building, uh, big stuff like this, is building it and then stepping back and looking at it. If I could stop freezing. And I don't know how I feel about this, because this pillar just feels incomplete to me. <clears throat> hmm. But I don't really think that there's anything... I think that's the way it's going to have to stay. Anyways, so now that we've got basically the first, the front half of this building done, the rest, the, the building's not going to go back much further than this right here. It might a little bit, but I think the idea is that uh, once we move into the main world um, on this server where it can get put... Uh, it's going to get put in the mountains. And I think it's going to put, be put n with its back to the mountains. So I think we might like chop it off, place it, and then finish it. So the hard stuff is done. A lot of this stuff now is what I've done here, the frame. So I want to have two kind of office sections sticking out right here, similar to what we have here right here except with less flashy windows I'm, I'm really getting some jitter jitters right there um, I wish that there was a way to view ping so a lot of this right now is going to be placing this quartz all inside of here and placing this cobblestone all up in here but that's not what we're going to do today obviously what I want to do today is work out a pattern for here. So let's get let's get our yellow wool here. Um, I just threw it away, didn't I? <laughs> get away! Oh, by the way, uh, I am using a a uh, texture pack made by uh, Z, and it's you know, just some changes, like brick here is a little bit better color, I think. He also just added thatch. And he actually he made it out of the orange wool, because orange wool is really ugly. That's just something that I thought was kind of cool. So what I want to do when I'm looking at this, and I, I kind of want to go through this, guys, so, so you know uh, how I, you know, how do I get something so big? when you have to start so small so I want floors to be at least that much space right maybe even that much space floor high so there's gonna be a floor there a floor there and then I have an idea here this can be a floor here and then we can have the roof go up so it's just going to be three wide here, but it'll be four, or not f three wide, but three tall here on the wall. But it'll be four wide on the inside once we have the roof going up like this. You get it? So, first thing that I want to do, I want to do it pretty similar to what we have here. So, 
Let's get some stone. We have this stone. Let's get some stone stairs. Some slabs. Get our quartz. Um, wand. Oh, uh, what's it called? Cycler. Uh, there's a tool that we have for cycling through blocks. Oh, there's a command to get it. Um, I forgot what the command is. Let's just run over here and select the blocks that we have. We want wall and we want that. And we're gonna want that diorite brick. <clears throat> All right, so ideally these are gonna be brick and that's gonna go all the way back but for now let's just figure it out in one section and then we basically copy it so on on something this scale a, a lot of it's gonna be repeated textures I kind of almost no never mind I was gonna say that I want the bottom one to be three tall but then that would uh ruin what I just said about that. Let me just turn down this a little bit. I'm really not getting too bad at frame rates, but uh, we don't need to see it all the way over there. <laughs> um, then let's do this one. Um, okay, I have an idea. Well, What if we did something like that? Uh, let's do two of them. You'll see what I'm thinking here. Right, and then... That... Get placed. Um, this is gonna be a pillar. Pillar. How do we do it here? Okay, right. So we did one every three. Um, okay, you getting what I'm putting down? So another thing that we've been, a bit of a theme that we've been running with here is putting somewhat of a roof like that in between, between uh, floors. And I think that, how do we do it here? Okay, let me fix this and I'll show you what I did, what I, what I'm about to change. All right, so I move that blue back. Then what I like to do is every stair above a window gets moved up because otherwise it looks really cramped, gives some dimension to it. Um, huh, hold on. So I didn't actually have those stairs. I had it like this it looks like um so i i could just make a new design here like there's nothing wrong with that yeah i don't want that and then i could do th this oh no i can't i would do this but I don't want that because I can't see any of that blue. So I'm going to go back to what we had. And it's okay if what is here is different from what is up there. Um, maybe other builders... This is my first time building something on this scale. So maybe other people will disagree with me that it should be more consistent and uniform. But I think that this will be plenty fine. 
Yeah, so see, you can't even really notice that it's different. All right, so after that, this one is going to get more or less the same treatment, except the roof is going to be a little bit different, I think. Uh, we don't need it that far right now. Let's just get rid of these for sake of being consistent. All right, so there's a window there. Pillars. This pillar, pillars kind of look like crown molding or something. I like it. Let's go ahead and grab that glass, which is cyan. Panes. Let's get rid of that thatch. There's no thatch in this build. <laughs> All right. Another thing that we could do is to add dimension, do that, and I do like that. Oh, you didn't get placed right. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> and then let's do that with these. Okay, so, hmm, I think what I'm going to do is this. Same thing as far as the stone bricks go, but then this part's going to be different. Alright, so see how I said that this is actually going to be four tall? even though that section of wall right there was three tall. Now if you're standing right here, that will be four tall, and we could cap it off somehow, like this on the inside. Might have to do something, because this might look a little strange, like having this as part of the wall. So we might cap it off like that, uh, not too concerned about the interior right now. We're kind of focused on... Hmm, I kind of wish that I had gotten all this stuff over there. Actually, that's fine. I'm going to make that a pillar right here. Maybe a stone pillar. And we can do that right now. Okay, uh, we might do something to change this up, like bring it out. Maybe bring it out one. Let me try that really quick. All right, so I don't like that there's a space of two there, but I think I do like that pillar to add some depth to it. Because if we just had it on this block, then it would just be too flat. I like this, but I don't like this. So I'm going to move everything over, and that shouldn't be too hard. It should just be a matter of doing this. All right, so I moved that over. I think that looks much better. Let's do this, and then this face is going to be something like what's on that building. Um, let's just outline this roof really quick. I'm clicking all over the place. And then we're going to have to find the center of that. And it looks like the center of that is somewhere around here. So this can just go all the way up. Right? And then that's where it's going to end. So let's just pull these out for the sake of seeing it. Okay, so I also pulled out this wall just to get a better idea of how it's going to look with that in place. And that's not done. That's just what we've been doing a lot is placing down a big plain kind of a canvas. This is what we got to work with for a canvas. And then I left this part open and let's get rid of this because this could potentially be connected to this part. And I think there's a very good chance that it is But right there, let's 
get a better look out here. So yeah, that's just a, that's just such a tiny part. That is just kind of hitting me right now. It's just such a tiny part right there, but it is going to just add most of what you're going to be seeing is right here. Back here, it's going to be more boring windows like this to draw attention to over there because you want certain points to stick out, I think. So it's okay that these are more plain. I think it's, oh, in the end, it's going to contribute to the feel that you get when you're on the inside. Because now, you know, I, I'm just super excited just thinking about walking through this entire thing. Just, let's just walk on this wall. Just this tiny, I told you this is really small, right? Compared to the rest. Just imagine walking through this section. Three floors of this. That's a lot of walking. You could get, you could get lost in here. That's like no joke. <laughs> so this is what we got done today. I showed you a little bit of how we start with um, kind of an, a blank area and then pattern it out. It's really, that's what we're doing. We're patterning it out. And really what we could do is right here, let's finish up this episode with, uh, actually, I want that to stay because that's going to have to flow in right there. So let's do one of these. Um, let's just make all these stairs and then let's make every other one a full block and then let's add walls. Alright, see now that ties in really well right there. I like that addition. So we still have to do the bottom floor and that's pretty much going to be the exact same as right here. Um, we can pull this down and then cobblestone is going to be up to it's on this level. Got a little bit of lag there. Yeah, so that's where it's going to be. So yeah, a lot of this is going to be filling in these frames. And you got to see the work that we've done up on this tower. I'll give you another look at that because we didn't really get a good close-up look. I should find some diorite to fix fill in some spots down there, maybe on that front face. We have an idea up here that, ooh, what's this? <laughs> he must have put that there, because I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I think that's the date that we started, and that's the date that we're ending. Yeah. So today is the 13th. So we've been working on this for 11 days. He's taking a break from it right now. Let's crank up the render distance so we can see what it looks like from up here. And then once we have it placed, it's going to be super pretty to look out because we're going to have mountains. And I do know what the uh, place that it's going to looks like generally. I don't know the exact area, but it's super pretty and I'm really excited for it. So once we do a lot of this kind of grindy stuff, that's what a lot of this is, filling in this stuff with repeating patterns because we don't have tools to um, do all this, just copy and paste. Um, certain members do, but we're not that status yet. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to come play with me, come play with us, then information for the server is down below. Uh, and that pretty much wraps us up. Next time that you see a video, it'll probably be about done with the exterior, uh, probably finishing it up. We might even have it moved into place because now I'm going to be looking to really grind away on this and um, it's going to get placed before we do the interior. And then when we do the interior, it's all going to get planned out with a wall. All of it's going to be framework, where walls are, where stairs are, um, signs to show what rooms are what. What's this say? This might need to become a window. Yeah, it might. But I kind of like this as a place to step over. So let's get one last shot with the shaders on. Uh, uh, let's go. Let's go heavy duty. Who cares about our frame rates? We're just standing still. Oh, look how pretty that is.
Ooh, there's our screenshot right there. Let me get rid of this. Oh, wow, I'm actually getting 20 frames right now. Um, I know what that says, so. Uh, let's turn up shadow quality and render quality. You know what, I kind of like... Was this brighter on lower render quality? That's fine. Yeah, so look how big this is. I'm super excited. Thank you guys for watching, and if you liked it, then uh, show me some love and leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you have any ideas, I'll definitely read them and consider them. So uh, until next time, thank you. Bye.